and good morning class so for this lesson i'm gonna put y'all up a little bit and i hope that's enough all right so for this lesson we're continuing our lesson or topic on combining sentences and for your assignments today, I'm asking you to tell me what are the key components to combining sentences. So in this lesson, in this short video lesson that I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be going over that with you. And again, showing you how to utilize the tools in order to correctly combine our sentences. So again, we're going to focus on two, two ways to combine sentences. And the first one is, yes, combine by making a list. So when we're combining sentences, sometimes when we're talking or when we're writing, we may talk or write in a choppy manner where we're saying, I like that artwork. It had nice lines in it. It had good color, bright colors. And so you see how it's there are like these weird pauses and it's, it's a bit awkward, right? So just how it's a bit awkward in me saying it, sometimes it's also a bit awkward reading it, right? So let's focus on list, listing. So this first one in red, this is the structure of sentences that we do not want. So this red right here, we don't want it. So let me read it aloud. If you can't see it, I'll say it. The picture is pretty. The picture is bright. It is calming. I'll repeat it. The picture is pretty. The picture is bright. It is calming. Now, what do you think is wrong with this example? You said it sounds choppy? Yes, it sounds choppy. The picture is pretty. The picture is bright. It is calming. Those are three separate sentences that could easily be combined into one. So now let's move down to this one. The picture is pretty, comma, bright. We can add a comma in here. The comma we can or cannot go here. It's fine just because we have the and. So the picture is pretty, check, comma, bright, check comma and calming so instead of saying that the picture is pretty the picture is bright the picture is calming we can just say the prettiest um, the prettiest the picture is pretty bright and calming you see how we just made that super concise right and we shortened it and we had unnecessary words taken out Yes, so that's how you can use this tactic, the list tactic or strategy to help make your sentences more concise and more clear. Now let's look at another tactic or strategy. Let's move down. I believe you, yeah, you guys can see. Combine by using a conjunction. Combine by using a conjunction. And I'm also going to attach um, in Google Classroom a resource of um, a debrief of what conjunctions are. But for your conjunctions, your typical ones that you're going to be using are and and but. So typically, a, you know, a conjunction word is a word that you use in transition. So when we're talking, you may say something like, I like your hair. I like your outfit. But it's much easier if you could just say, I like your hair and your outfit. So we added that conjunction and, and it helped form and connect those two sentences. So let's look at this again. Combined by using a conjunction, let's read the first line in red, which is our example we don't want to really look at as far as what's correct. It says, the picture has sharp lines. It also has color, the period. Ah. Again, the example is the picture has sharp lines. It also has, Pharaoh, 
it also has color. So similar to the first example, it's too much. We can fix it and break it down. So instead of saying the picture has sharp lines, period, it also has color, period, we could say down below, the picture has sharp lines and color. Again, the picture has sharp lines and color. So you see we inserted a conjunction, right? Right here. We inserted a conjunction word and that word is and. And the and connects those two points, right? Because when we're combining sentences, our point is to be clear, our point is to be concise, right? Use less words if need be and make sure your point is clear. So that's what we did. So if you need any more help, please, please, please watch your knowledge on the go videos that are attached to this assignment and some of your other assignments that talk about combining sentences. And also message me if you need any help, I'm here for you. So with that being said, peace.